Yeah, it's a very windy and very cold. Let's start. What's up everybody? Welcome to another honest review video. Today we are gonna talk about Vivo V27. Yeah, I'm using the smartphone to record this video. This video is recorded with a Vivo V27. So you can check the video quality. This video is recorded in 4K 30 frames per second and there is bokeh effect. You can record bokeh video with Vivo V27. Actually, this Vivo V27 is almost the same as Vivo V27 Pro that I have been using for almost a month now. I have already reviewed Vivo V27 Pro, so if you are interested, you can go ahead, check that video. But if you cannot afford to buy a Vivo V27 Pro, then you should go for this Vivo V27. Why? Yeah, I am going to talk about all the aspects of this Vivo V27 in this video. Please, go through this video and if you end up liking this video, then yeah definitely go ahead smash the like button also if you are not subscribed yet go ahead subscribe to this channel and support honest content okay as i have been using a vivo v27 pro for almost more than a month now as my daily drive i think both the vivo v27 and v27 pro comes with the same build quality there isn't no difference at all both are pretty thin and inside this thin housing i mean under the hood vivo has managed to put a lot of power vivo v27 comes with mediatek diamond city 7200 which in real life is really a very powerful soc on top there is nothing but a secondary noise cancellation microphone and vivo has printed professional portrait. At the bottom, there is a speaker grill, USB-C port, primary microphone, and a compact dual SIM SIM tray. On the left, there is nothing. On the right, yeah, volume rockers and power button all are on the right side. Yeah, I really like the volume rockers and power button placement because it's easy to access. I don't have to move my hand around to reach for the power button or for the volume rockers. Really, this is a great placement. Well, the back panel is actually a glass back panel and truly, I'm in love with this design. It's pretty subtle. I mean, the design language isn't that loud. It's not like super attractive, but very posh and elegant. Yeah, there are some bumps for the rear camera panel. And look at this, this aura ring light. This one looks cool and actually performs pretty nice at night. As I've mentioned earlier, there is this color changing ability of this Vivo V27 and I truly like this. Especially, my girlfriend is really in love with this. Before she makes me wake up, she does this on this smartphone and shows me. Yeah, that's a lovely nice touch. Okay, if you think this color changing thing, this is a bit childish, then you can go for the black colored variant and there are two other different colored variants, you can also take those. Finally, I need to mention this Vivo V27 comes with plastic frame, but both the front panel and the rear panel are glass panels. Okay, Vivo V27 comes with the same rear camera setup as Vivo V27 Pro. Well, Vivo V27 like the V27 Pro also comes with the same Sony IMX 766V sensor. There is a V at the back of 766 because this one is actually custom built for Vivo for this Vivo V27 series. And the main sensor is tagged to OIS that means this one comes with optical image stabilization. Well, the main difference between Vivo V27 Pro and Vivo V27 camera is both the main sensor and the selfie sensor cannot shoot 4K 60 frames per second. Yeah, Vivo V27 Pro can do that but Vivo V27 cannot. Vivo V27 can record up to 4K 30 frames per second using both the main sensor and the selfie sensor. Let's check some photos that I have taken side by side with this Vivo V27 and another mid-range smartphone. Let's check which one has done better. I would say Vivo V27 has done way better than the other smartphone and considering the price difference, Vivo V27 is clearly the winner of this battle. Let's take it slow, where you go I go too, and if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be, you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it me how we got here 
you don't know how you say we're taking on water yeah we're sinking now you're looking all concerned like we're gonna drown but we both know how to swim no worries let's go for now let's take it slow where you go i go too and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it Okay, if you are thinking like, well, Vivo V27 costs less than Vivo V27 Pro, so maybe this one comes with a worse display panel. You are wrong. Vivo V27 got the same display panel as Vivo V27 Pro. The same 6.78 inch AMOLED panel, 120Hz refresh rate and every other features of Vivo V27 Pro's display panel is there in Vivo V27. It's the same gorgeous, amazing display panel. I'm really surprised by the performance of the display panel. Black is truly dark, white is very bright, natural yet vibrant color tone. Yeah, Vivo has managed to calibrate the display panels of Vivo V27 Pro and Vivo V27 with perfection. The output is magical. Like the Pro Edition, Vivo V27 also comes with visual enhancement. We get optimized color and contrast of some pictures for more vivid display effects. The more I have used this Vivo V27, the more I have liked the display panel. Well, there are two things which is very important for me. Number one, safety net test, because I use banking applications on my smartphones. If you really wanna use banking applications on any smartphone, you should check this. It's great that Vivo V27 has passed the safety net test. Vivo V27 also comes with L1 certification. It's great that Vivo V27 comes with Widevine L1 certification. This is required to watch HD streaming through different platforms. Talking about games, Vivo V27 offers a very good in-game experience. Definitely this one cannot provide you gaming experience like a flagship, but among all the mid-range smartphones, I think this one actually offers a very good in-game experience. And as this one has better thermal management than any other smartphones, you will be able to play games for hours after hours without any lag or any thermal throttling. I have tried to play Genshin Impact for hours after hours and I actually have enjoyed playing games on this device because this one has offered me very smooth in-game experience. I should say buttery smooth in-game experience. Yeah, you won't be able to select very high graphics settings but frame rate is very stable. That's really important and makes a very big difference. I have also tried to play other games like Real Racing 3, Asphalt 9, Shadow Fight 3 and I must say, any games that you are gonna throw at this, this one will offer you very good in-game experience. But one more time, if you are expecting flagship class performance, then you need to understand, this Vivo V27 costs even less than half of a flagship smartphone. I should say kudos to Vivo for being able to extract very good in-game experience from a mid-range SoC. Okay, I know there are some people who always care about benchmark scores. Personally, I don't like Antutu benchmark, but if you care about Antutu score, here comes the score. Vivo V27 has got a very nice score, considering that this one comes with a budget mid-range SoC. I personally care about 3 Mark the gamer's benchmark, and here comes 3 Mark the gamer's benchmark's score. Well, check this, amazing thermal performance. There isn't no lag. Wow. 99% stability means a lot. Kudos to Vivo for such a wonderful thermal management. Vivo V27 comes with Android 13 and there is a skin. Funtouch OS. Funtouch OS is getting better and better. I think this Funtouch OS 13 is the most optimized Funtouch OS that I have ever used. 
But as I have mentioned in my Vivo V27 Pro video, I wish, I really want to push Vivo to offer Origin OS to the global market. Origin OS at this moment is the most optimized, the best Android skin available on the market. But that's only China exclusive. I don't know why. Anyway, this Funtouch OS 13 is actually almost the same as Origin OS and works fine. Well, as usual, like any other mid-range smartphones, Vivo V27 comes with under display fingerprint sensor. This is an old school optical fingerprint sensor, but the thing is, this one actually performs really good. It's really easy to register a fingerprint and it's really very, very fast faster than flash. I wasn't expecting this type of performance. Also, if you're interested, there is a 2D face unlocking option, which I don't prefer because 2D face unlocking isn't that safe and secure. But if you really want to use, then one more time, it's easy to register a face and this Vivo V27 unlocks in a fraction of a second. There is no lag, no issues, no complaint. Vivo V27 comes with a 4600 mAh battery and Vivo V27 supports 66 watt very fast charging speed. Yeah, this one doesn't support wireless charging, but with that provided charger, I can refill the fuel tank within 46 minutes, which is even a bit faster than Vivo V27 Pro. When the fuel tank is totally filled, it provides 7 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time. That's huge. That's humongous. Yeah, really, I have never expected this type of battery performance. Even after playing games for hours after hours, I have noticed this SoC and the smartphone is actually optimized for the best battery performance. Yeah, if you want to save more battery, then you can use smart switch refresh rate or you can directly select 60 hertz refresh rate because at 60 hertz refresh rate, you will be able to get up to 8 hours of screen on time. Kudos to Vivo. Okay, if there is a segment that has made me a bit disappointed, then this is the segment. There is only a single bottom firing loudspeaker on Vivo V27. This one doesn't come with a stereo speaker setup. But the thing is, this one comes with the same speaker of Vivo V27 Pro and offers a very good crisp and clear sound even at a full volume. I've never heard that there is any distortion. So yeah, even if this is a bottom firing single loudspeaker, this one performs well. But I wish that next time Vivo will try to upgrade this to a stereo speaker setup. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Time for verdict. And if you are waiting for my verdict, then well, go ahead. If you want to buy a smartphone within the price range of Vivo V27, then there is no other smartphone which even comes close to Vivo V27. But if you can afford to buy Vivo V27 Pro, then why not go for that? Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Oh, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you